everybody, it's KJ here from Metro Hobbies and we're doing something a little bit different today. I'm here with Max and Max is our plastic expert as you all obviously know and we're going to combine our forces. We're going to have the expertise of the plastic model kit with the Light My Bricks Lego expert and we're going to install some crazy lights into this magnificent sub. All right, Max, what now, have we got? Okay, many, many years ago, I bought this kit. This is the Mobius um, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea sub. It's the, the bigger one, so it's the big three footer. So this is a really, really nice kit, goes together very well, but the one thing I've always wanted to do was light it up because in the movie or in the TV series, it's all got lights and everything else and it looked magnificent lit up. I did buy a, a set years and years ago, but the amount of work that was required to solder things and everything else, so one day I was talking to KJ and said, mm -hmm. this would be interesting to do, can we do it with Light My Bricks? Because I'd seen it with the Lego. And she said, let's do it and see what we can do. Absolutely. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a conversation and talk about some of the things that I wanna light and then we'll come up with plans and ideas. This is gonna be over a couple of parts. So you'll see this part, then we'll have a look at another part once we've installed some more of it. I've gotta do some painting and some work uh, along the track once we've decided how we're gonna light it and then uh, we'll continue on. So it might be two or three parts, so keep an eye on it, keep talking to us and let us know if you've got any thoughts and then we can go from there. So. Group project. A group project. <laughs> combining two genres. Well, Mac does all the work. Max does all the work. Um, so I'm gonna just say that modular, um, the, the Light My Bricks system is a modular lighting system and it's designed small, so it can fit onto Lego bricks, but because it's designed small, you can easily get it into a plastic model and why not? Because we're a hobby store. All right, so. What are, you, what are we first looking okay. at here? What do we first thing, wanna? I think the thing that we need to look at is I'm gonna let you know what needs to be lit first, yes. and then we can work out what lights are gonna be doing. Okay. So, first up, this is the bottom of the sub, yep. which fits in there, yep. right? And as you can see, A, there's a headlight. Oh, yes. And, and B, there's two down lights. Okay. Right, so. And I would expect the headlight, obviously, to be much brighter than the. Absolutely. Okay, so. So that's gotta be a big one. We've got large bit lights now that have recently come out, so they're quite, they're very much like a spotlight, so I'd suggest that we put that in there so you can see the difference. In the size. In yep. the size from that to this one. Um, they're definitely much bigger, oh. but that would be perfect for using for the headlights. This is a cool light. Are you wanting it to be, a, I would think cool underneath the water, but you can have a warm light if you want. It needs to be, it's the headlight, so it was... It would the, be cool, because yeah. it, same as like a car, it's brighter, you'd have a cool yep. light. Too easy, um, so that's that's what we would do with it. So that's... This section, I'm going to put two little plastic towers, yep. and then put the lights in, because I don't want any light bleed, which is the thing that we're going to have to watch all the time. Yes, that's true. So yep. a lot of this will be painted black. Yep. These will be painted black, and then they'll have a cap on them, okay. so we can then drill a hole through it and everything else. So these are two white lights. They're white lights. So they'll be shining down. Okay, so in that case, do they need to be as bright? Are they also no. for functional for view? Or? They're more for, I think, just lighting up for when the mini sub drops oh, drops okay. out of the bottom. So it doesn't want to be too bright because it would blind the mini sub. Yep. All right, so in that case, we, we could either go with just a normal white light, so not a cool one, so it'd be less bright. Um, there are different sizes. There's 30 centimeter sizes and there's 15 centimeter sizes. If the wires are just going to be inside here, then we could probably get away with just using 15 centimeters. Mm -hmm. um, so we won't have to tuck away too much. And that would be your normal white light there. So there's also the option of doing a warm light, which I don't seem to have on me, but that's not a problem. We can get some. Um, so warm light would be a slightly more towards your tungsten size yep. um, color. So I guess the decision there would be, I think you'd still have just white lights because I don't think under the water it would, they'd have a tungsten glow on it, unless that's how the atmosphere was when the, like in terms of what's true to the TV series. No, they were quite bright. They were quite bright. All right, quite so just bright, go with the lights. normal white lights, I reckon. Yep. Um, and these, you've got four in each one of these, so we can use them later on. Well, um, you're going to need to because there's a couple of other areas that need white lights. Okay. So that'll What's, be handy as well. Yeah. So that's the main deck. Now, you might notice that I've cut part of this out. My, I envisage that once I've built this, this is the little flying sub. Now, normally you fit it inside there and it sits and it's all pretty nice. I want to make this a little bit lifelike. So what I've done is I'm closing, the doors are closing, so I've cut a piece out and the doors are closing up. And my idea is to have the flying sub 
mounted underneath. The trick is going to be how I'm going to do it, and one of the ways I'm thinking of doing is to, pretend, to make up like a bubble source, then run the wire down through the wire so that'll support this, mm. and then we're going to light this. And the lights we're having in here, I, my, I think blue would be really nice. Is that the kind of lighting yep. we're going for? Yep. Okay, so um, I think I have However, blue lights. However, there are also... There's the blue light for the actual unit. Yes. But there's also two white headlights. Oh, in that case, we just go back there's to using that. these ones. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you're going to be using the, the actual wires to support it so it hangs. Is that the idea? Yep. So you'd need two wires. Well, in that case, you'd use the 30 centimeter. Um, or you. So this has got enough space that you could possibly have what's called an expansion board inside. So there's different sizes. Um, and you could use a six port expansion board. It could be mounted in here. So you could have the two... 15 centimeter lights put in here and a blue bit light. I don't have one on me at the moment to show you, but if, I mean, effectively they all look very much the same when they're not lit up. Um, and so you'd have a blue light in there to have the sort of the atmosphere. But then what you would do is you'd have the connecting cable rather than the um, the light cable. And you'd have that running off the, the six port to come out the top. And I might even suggest using fishing line because the cables, even though they're thin, they're still colored. And I'm wondering if it would be better if you just had one that had the connecting cable, which are the black ones, um, and then have the fishing line on either side so it's support it because you yep. that would disappear. It'd be easier to put the bubbles on it, I think. Yep. yep. Um, and you can tuck, and that way you can tuck all the wires in there. And you've just got one cable, one um, electrical cable, and that, that goes could up. be like an umbilical cable until they absolutely. So you can so you can have an argument about yeah. what it actually is. So yeah. it's like it's still the um, there we go. So we can dress the connecting cables, the umbilical cable, and then use the fishing lines to put the bubbles on. Yeah. So we can have a bit of artistic license. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the bottom hull and the top and the okay. main and that's now. So we've continuing got a few with things, this part, the side. so that all that works. Yes. I need to light this. Yes. But I also want to put in a flashing orange light. Okay. And as though just as the doors close, like a warning orange, light. Yes. So we needed a rotating, rotating one. Rotating light. All right. So. They've got one, which is great. Actually, this was made for the TARDIS, for a Lego set for a TARDIS, but it's perfect for this. Um, it's just a little um, LED that rotates and has little LEDs on each side. Um, it does come up white, but we could put a clear orange mm. um, acrylic on it and that no problem whatsoever. Go um, I've done that before with um, when I've lit up a motorbike and then that could just sit in on the side so you get that warning light come yes. through. Yep. Um, and then if you're wanting to light the rest of it up, you've got a couple of options. You can either go with another bit light and mount it in on the side. Um, depends how bright you want it um, because you can also do – well, these are um, strip lights. So they've got an adhesive on the back. They've actually got two LEDs on a strip light and it could be mounted in there. You'd have to tuck it so – you couldn't see it because I think it would detract from the the effect of it. Yeah, well, if we fit that because it fits quite well, you can't actually see. You'd really have to sort of move the sub around to actually, to actually get to see it. where it is. Yep. So we could get away with we could. that. Okay. And that would shine through the rest of the bulkheads. Yes. Uh, even if we only do it on one end. Yes. And have the rotating light on the other end. Yep. That would work. That, I yeah. think that would work, yeah, definitely. So either, either that, because you wouldn't, you definitely wouldn't see these sides. You could even put it on that side because if you've got the doors oh, closed, of course. then there's no way that you're seeing those sides at all because they're just... No, because they're really tucked. They're, yeah, yeah. That, so that's a better way. It'd be easier to do it that so way. So we do two, one on either side? Depends how bright you want it. You might be able, You might only need the one, but you could experiment. You could you could put them in with like a, a bit of tack or something before taking the adhesive off, turn them on and go, okay, is this is this too bright or is this what I too, need? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I don't want it to shine too heavily down on the, because we've And got, you don't want to lose the rotating light. No. And because also, that's really yeah, cool. That's, that's, you, you still want to be able to see that, yep. warning, that warning light go. Yep. And I don't want to lose, because if that's shining down on top of that, yeah. this will wash this out. That's right. And that's it's something you have to always be careful yeah. of is where you place the lights because you don't want to wash out the effects. And I'm, I'm sure I've talked about it before in other videos. Is, yeah, you, you've got to balance those lights. Yeah. Um, obviously, when the lights go off and you have this lit up on its own, it's a very different effect to when the lights are on. Mm. Um, all right. So, What's next? So we're now going to move to the tower or the sail, as they call it. This is the conning tower and everything else. Okay. Now, this has already pre-drilled holes. Oh, nice. In it, top and the one there. So these two, one's red. Yes. One's green. Yes, of course. And one's white. Okay, so we've still we've already got the white ones. We've got they're quite small. 
So, um, well, this is what I've discovered. I was, was watching a video of a guy who did one. Yeah. He put in two very bright red and green lights. Yeah. And basically, this side of the sub, the, sorry, this side of the sub was red. Yep. And this side of the sub was green. So it was too bright. They're okay. only navigation lights or, yeah. or um, not navigation lights, they're um, like aircraft lights. Give me a second. I think I didn't bring these out. Um, I'll be back in a minute. So just to show you guys where this is going to go. This is part of the decking. So that goes up okay. on there. And then this mounts on there. So what I've done is cut away some, some of the plastic there and on the sub in, in case some of it's going to go inside the sub. So that's pretty cool. So, so I think... So I never had an issue with the wires. That's fine. Um, also, you can, if you need to, you can always use a pin vise. Um, I like to use a trumpet or one. Um, you can always use a pin vise to make the holes in order to get the, the wires out anyway. Um, that's not really an issue as long as you put it somewhere where it's hidden. These ones are tiny. Um, these, are, these are the micro lights. Yep. They actually require their own expansion board. Um, so you could even hide one expansion board inside the sail. Is that right? Yep. Um, and you, we've already got a a red light, so we could definitely put the red light and it would be very light, right? So it, it almost is this, exactly the same size as those holes themselves. So it shouldn't it shouldn't light up too much of the side. Yeah. It would just be the warning light, exactly how you would have for a plane, right? Yes, it's the same exactly, thing. Exactly. Um, I've definitely got a blue version. I think there's a green version. Even if there's not a green version, we could just do the same trick we're gonna do with the other one. Yep. Um, and we could put a little bit of, um, oh, no, there we go. Look at that, green. <laughs> So I've got a green one as well. So we've got a red one and a green one. That's perfect. And it gives you the warning lights. It's not going to be, it's not going to outshine the spotlight. It's not going to outshine any of that. It's definitely going to be smaller. So I think no. that would be the way to go. Um, and you just hide an expansion board in there. Yep. And then you'd end up running a connecting cable. So we have connecting cables that can extend. Um, and I've got one here somewhere. <laughs> connecting cable. So that's 50 centimetres. So if you had... The mini expanse, you had the micro port expansions inside there. You could then run the 50 centimeter cable all the way back here. Yeah. Um, and so this is, we could access it if we needed to, to rewire anything. You could still access it here. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So that's that. Is that, what else are we going for? Is that? And there's a white light. Okay. As you can already see. Is that the already... same sort of level, like a warning yes. light? So then, yeah. so okay. Then in that case, we'd probably want, well, that, that actually works out perfectly. You have the, one of these, a white light, a red one and a green one, and that's that sail that's done. Sail that's done. done the sail done. Perfect. Now they do have glass pieces to go over the top, so that's fine. Oh, okay. Yep. So that's pretty cool. That's so good. that's that's the sail. And then easily to get the cable down there, that's easy. Yep. So that's the sail. Yep. I'm going to come back to the main deck in a minute, but this is the sail. So we continue back. Now, somehow or other, Mobius even thought about all what you might want to do with this thing. So what they've that's done, cool. this is the rear part of the sail, so the rear part of the hull. So this slides in, oops, like, like so. So that's part of the tail fin. Now this piece attaches to the side there. So that's all great, but what they've done is to give you channels, little sl channels to fit the wiring in oh, because the, the back of this yeah. has a rather large White light. So it's going to be a large one again, like yes. this, as, as large as, as bright as the spotlight. Um, we could move it back. Move it back into it a bit because it and, does and that, have a clear uh, dome going. And that, the then top it wouldn't be as so that, like and that would change how bright it, how the yeah. Side, yeah. So we could do that. Change one. the di change the diameter, change the lumen size. Yeah. Um, so so that would that. work. Um, and we could change, yeah, so we could change the diameter of it by just moving it back a little bit. And that way you could just use your, the large bit lights because it's four in a pack. So you'd have one for the headlight and then you could have two for the tails and then you're not having to get anything else. You've yep. got it already. Um, now, my question to you is yes. though, if I need to access, say we put all the main bulk of the supports here. Yes. How, is there a way that we can have this, because it fits very, very well. Yes. As you can see. <laughs> So it fits very, very well and it's quite clean. Yes. And it's quite well supported. I'm thinking of one or two things. One is I could use magnets to hold it in place. Yes. And then when I need to get at this for some reason, either for changing it over or yep. if something's gone astray, I can easily pull it apart. But how do I get away with not pulling all the wiring out? Okay. Can we put extension wires yes. in? Yes. I mean, we could definitely have 
So there's two port expansions that we could add to the end of the, so the lights, these ones that I'm suggesting putting in have 30 centimeters on them. We could add, we could extend it with using a 50 centimeter cable on each. You can have like a, or, or even just on one of them. Um, and you could extend it that way and it could connect. And that way when you pulled it up, you, you, could, you still have a lot of room to play with. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, it might be, this is designed for Lego. And it's specifically designed for the modular set so you can pick up each level. Um, and so it's designed with Lego pieces, but essentially what they are are two different contacts. You've got a plate and then a, you've got a top piece. And when you um, when they're touching, then the power's connected, but when you lift them away, the power's disconnected. So it allows you for some wireless contact, if you like. What you could do is you could um, super glue, that's okay. You can super glue Lego sometimes, or even use some acetone because it would melt to it. <laughs> and so you could put position, you'd have to be really careful about how you position it because once you put it in, those two pieces, if they're not contacting, you won't get power to the lights. But if you position that, so you have the top piece um, just here, and then you have the other one underneath. And when you slide it in, all of a sudden that lights up. And so you can pull it out, no problem, put it to the side. You can work if you need to change anything up in there. And that would be a definite another solution. Okay. Um, so so you've got cool. two options there. And that, this will just require some alignment, that's all. Okay. So we've talked about the main hull. We've talked about the sail. We've talked about all the bits and pieces. The next major piece that I want to do is, oh, sorry, the next other two parts I want to do is the engine. Now, Initially, from everything I can find, I can't see that there's lights in here, but KJ and I have talked about that these are supposed to be some sort of reactor unit or whatever. So they're already built. We could have so, some kind of light So we're that thinking energy. that we could have some sort of light buried in there, which would maybe shine well, if off. We, if you think red works as a, as a reactor well, colour. Well, then I like blue. I, I like that. You like the idea of the blue as yeah. well. Okay, we could do the blue. Um, even go purple if you like. You could do a combination. Does that work or is blue better? Well, was, well the other thing I was toying with the idea <laughs> is having them pulsing. Oh, okay. So that like we can do. Pulse. Yep. So that we can do. So first of all, you do a couple of things. So you've got, no, that's the dimmer control. Oh, okay. Well, it looks the same. I've obviously um, sold our last one the other day. It looks very similar to this. This is a dimmer control. It has a little um, knob on it where you can change how fast the pulse is and you can set what type of pulse, how many intervals it has. So you can have one that's got a longer interval or a slower interval. So it's, it's, you can go from between a flicker to a pulse and then you can change the speed of it. Um, so you could plug the light into that, which would make that pulse, which would give it sort of that engine reactor look. And we do have blue lights. Um, I was gonna suggest the large um, red lights, but I guess we could also just use large blue, um, the white lights okay. and actually just put a blue over the top of them. The, or if even if you, if you had that painted, are you gonna paint that blue? Because if you paint you that, that blue, yeah, we'd just do that. So we have a, a we use the large lights again because they provide the most light um, and we'd have to test it. But I think the plastic's thin enough that the light would actually glow through. Um, Cause they do that with Lego all the time. It goes through the hard ABS plastic. I don't see why it can't go through um, styrene plastic as well and yep. just light it up. And then it wouldn't be so bright that it looks like a headlight, but it would, it, you'd get that pulse effect and you'd get that, um, you'd get that effect of, yes, there's an engine glowing there. There's a reactor yep. going on. I reckon yep. that would look really cool. So, okay. So we'll so look we, at painting that blue. Paint that to the color that you silver want. Silver and blue or something yeah. like that. And the actual, this exhaust part will paint uh, either um, blue or black or yeah, gunmetal, gun metal, something like that. So we can play around with that. And then that would, sit in behind it and yep. then the, the control would sit in behind it and you'd have that pulse. Yep. It'd be cool. That's what I want. Yeah, I reckon so, that's cool. So, last but not least is the main control deck. All right. Now, this is the main cockpit area or control deck area or whatever. I haven't finished building this because we've got to play around with a few things. So, the basics are I need, it's like we've got to, we've, I've made this up. So that's going to go on top and it's going to be black, right? So, we need to light a couple of small okay. spotlights or, yes. or point lights yep. just so to light this up. I've seen one where the back one is blue and it looks quite good or the front one. Now this whole this area is like here, an atmosphere. Yeah, doesn't need to be lit because okay. it's actually right up hard against the, the, the nose. Oh, uh, yep, so you won't really so see in, it. On the real one, you don't want all that lit up because no. you can't see out of it yep. because of reflections and yep. stuff like that. And yes, they had non-reflective glass or whatever. However, there's a couple of things that I'd like to do. One is fitting a light in behind. Whoops. There's a section. 
like, a, oh, see this one? Yes. It's all holes? Yes. I'm going to drill out some of those holes. Yes. We have a, a pulsing light or a rotating light behind it. Yeah. So that it looks like this is a computer board from the, like the way they did it in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, yep. And where like, it's just <laughs> flicking, <laughs> flicking on and off. Yep. You know? But if we just drill out holes and have a single light, it yep. doesn't necessarily mean that they all have to be going at the same time. So we have a flicker board. Oh, well, in that case, so there's two types. There's a flicker, just a standard flicker board, which they usually use to do fire effects. But there's one called the scary flicker, <laughs> flicker board. And that does a little bit more of a random flicker. They use that in the Stranger Things set. Yep. So it's like a little bit more of a random spooky thing. But I guess that would create the randomness required to give you that sort yeah. of. Um, yep. The other one would be the traffic lights. So, these, um, so that would actually be sequential. So if you wanted it to be a bit more sequential, you could do that as well. But if you want it more random than the, the flicker yeah, board. Yeah, we'll just have the flicker board one like you just said. And then you could attach three lights to that. So you'd have three different lights going at different times or you'd have a couple of different. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so then they, they would be off at different times if you like. You can oh, even, so you really get that yeah, computer type and thing. And you, you, you could actually place them in different different spots and so then you, yeah you'd really get that computer feel yeah yeah so the other one is there's five little lights there yep i'd like to light them up we've got to drill them out somehow and light them up Pin vice? <laughs> but they're really really muted okay they're almost like a um gauges and things like that oh, from what yeah. i can gather so they're that type warm of thing light. so we only need a really small warm light yeah. for each one i might even suggest putting like you see if you drill it out if you had little tubes going back because you might want to put the light even even using the micro lights um because you don't want it to flood the rest of the no the, even using the micro lights which obviously we do have white in them if you had like a little bit of perspex and you put it at the end so you could pull it back far enough but it's still channeled through those holes yep, yep. um or it doesn't even need to not perspex it'd just be a little bit of um clear, uh, rod. clear rod you could just use some sprue yeah C cut the sprue into a rod and then drill a, a pin vice down it and it has the, the light at one end and then Sol sol yep. solvent it, <laughs> glue yep. it to the to the thing and that way you'd have them there but dimmer much dimmer perfect so that's that lot and i think you're going to use a lot of micro lights in the, yes. in, the in the front <laughs> so on on this side most of this will get painted except there's a view screen or some sort of screen oh yes just there right so i'd like to light that up as well okay but I think it might be like a um, another muted colour, like a blue or mm -hmm. a, something like that, just to add a bit more colour to it. Yep. Right? So that's another one. But If you're going to have a blue light at the top for that whole area, will that get washed out? Well, that's what I don't know. That's, that's why you're the expert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering whether we might use a... Because I think the blue atmosphere would be really cool. Although, maybe instead of having a blue light mounted up here, that would be the source of the blue light. Ah. It's actually the source is all the computers because that's what would be creating that sort of atmosphere. Yep. Yep. So then that's where our blue light goes. Cool. Okay. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yep, now, last good. but not least, there's a little plotting board. It's in clear. Now, I can do one of two things. I'm either going to paint it green yep. or like a, um, a clear green. A clear green, right? yeah. And then mount either a light below or a light above so that it's shining on it yes so that it gives it that green that green plot board, yep. glowing and green we, plot board i mean we're already going to be using the micro green anyway um here on the on the sale so you'd probably still have one left and seeing as looking at this we're going to be using the micro lights which means you're going to have a micro expansion board inside or in behind the control panels yep um so if you use the green one which is in here somewhere we all know what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> this one. Yep. Um, so we use that one and that could, because it's so small, you could easily mount it either just under and it lights up through the um, the, the clear part or down it should light up. Yeah. And if you needed to, I guess you could use two because you're only going to really be using one on the sail. So yeah. you're still going to have three extra. So oh, you, yeah, so you'd okay. have plenty to play with. Um, awesome. And I reckon that would work really well. Okay, guys. Because you need to have a, a red... Do you know how there's like a pond? Well, we can have a look at that too. We can play around with <laughs> the lights <laughs> in it and everything else. So, guys, today that's what we'll leave you with. Um, yeah, that's cool. Between the two of us, we'll come up with some more little ideas and plans. Uh, we're probably going to do this uh, every couple uh, weekly so that you get an idea of what we're doing and we'll show you the different steps. Next week, we'll probably have a look at the work I've done on the rest of the uh, pieces so that we can start getting that together and we'll start actually laying out. Where the lights the, are. Where the lights are going to go, and we'll run the board or run the units to make sure they all work, 
and then we'll start fitting them up. So we'll go from Let's there. Uh, other than that, guys, have a great weekend. Yeah, and remember, if you can imagine it, you can, you can build it. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Too easy.